Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? I'm just hitching up this trailer here, and you'll notice that I have cut down those two trees, like I said I would, and that one over there is the one that we removed anyway. They have all been taken, and I have sold the wood, uh, but I did make a little purchase after um, I bid you all farewell. I did try a little bit more with this trailer, but I wasn't really very happy with it. I wasn't happy with the maneuverability. I tried it with the tractor as well. Um, and so I went and bought that trailer there. So now we have two trailers. And I didn't think it was a bad thing having two trailers because that trailer there, we can actually... Um, actually, let me just turn this one off now. Um, and I'll just show you my new trailer that I bought. It is the Farm Tech. And it's got a rear hitch so that we can take that one and we can put that one on the back, which means that we can take a, a dual load up to the pigs. It's got a nice capacity on it. Um, if we just have a quick look in here, tippers, uh, this is one that we've got. It's got 8,000 litres. This FarmTech TDK 1600, it did cost me 19,000. And hang on, hang on. It's on um, the, the, the wrong stuff. We want kilometres and we want euros. Right, um, let's just go back to the map. There we go. Right, so, cost 19,000 euros. Um, and so I did use a little bit of extra loan in order to be able to buy it. Um, and yes, I, I, this is normally something I would have done on screen, but I thought, you know, why not? We can have a bit extra. 15,000 litre capacity. I, it's, it's a good trailer. It's quite handy. I didn't get the bigger one. Um, because I thought it'd be more, uh, a bit more difficult to throw logs in over the top. So that's the one that I got. My question that I asked you all last week was, do you want me to go for pigs next, or do you want me to buy some more land and expand? We had over 1,700 responses from that one. We had 70, uh, 1,776 responses, which is fantastic. 431 of you thought that I should get more pigs, and 1,345 of you want me to get more land first. Now, a lot of you did say in the comment section that you want me to get more land first, use the money that I earn to later on purchase more pigs. So more pigs is definitely wanted by a lot of people. It's just that some of you want me to do the land first. So that is what we will do. Um, I'll stop running around. We want to get into this one. Um, we need to move, remove those stumps that are there. And we also want to get a... Um, uh, plow. We need. We need to buy the plow. That is very important because we're going to, uh, we're going to expand that field there, and we're also going to go up the road to that other area, and we're going to, um, uh, what do you call up there? We're going to plow up that extra air or the extra areas up there. That is our first priority. We did want to do that last week, but we didn't actually get to it. We were a bit too busy doing other tasks. So we're going to go whizzing off up the shop. Before I go. There's something I want to show you. There's a new mod that I have seen, and it's on the um, the the Giants website. It's just a, um, one of the normal ones, so there's not going to be any extra link to it. It's on the Farming Simulator website. It's this one here, the Laylee Juno 150. Now, this is a robot that actually cleans the feeding area. I don't know how it works. Um, I think it just, well, from what you can read here, clean feeding areas with less labor. Angle sets the movement radius forward, backward in centimeters. Blinker button, show alignment guides, start helper at the center in front of a trough. So I don't know very much about it, but it does sound really awesome. So this week's question is, do you want me to buy one of these? We're not going to rent it to test it. We're just going to go all out and, and buy one. So do you want me to buy one? Yes. Well, actually, no. should I um, stay as we are with the Kramer? Do you want me to buy one? for the cows here um, and then we can sort of I think you can pick it up with the um, from what I've seen of the pictures of it you can pick it up with the front loader so we can move it around with a Kramer if we want to so do you want me to buy one or do you want me to buy two so that's the, that's your options you got three options this week do you want me to not buy one at all and just stick with the Kramer do you want me to buy one Laylee Juno and uh, we'll carry it between the two and sort of uh, spread it out a bit. Or do you want me to buy two and have one for the pigs and one for the cows? I know that we don't have sheep at the moment. We will be expanding to sheep, but we just haven't done it yet. So it's your vote. It's your game. You should have seen the card come up in the top right-hand corner. Um, please click on that one and select your option that you want me to do. And I will do my best to um, 
acquiesce to your demands. Something like that. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to nip up to the shop, and then we can get a stump grinder to clear the stumps by the field down there, which we've got to do, and we can get our plough. I have actually turned my beacons on. Um, I did remember to do that after I uh, went. Right. Uh, oh, hang on. We need a bit more money. We, we are going to need a bit of extra cash for this. I think we need an extra 10,000 euros. So I'm going to need to borrow a bit more. That's going to take it up to 175. So we've got 25 still available on our loan. Um, we are slowly eating into our available money. So we are going to need cash and soon. Uh, so we want to buy that one. The reversible plough. Yes and yes. Right, that one is ours. And we also want to get the stump grinder so that we can clear away those stumps. Whereas the forestry equipment, that one there, no upgrades. And that one is 5,000 euros. There we go. So that leaves us with 3,600 at the moment. Um, let's come in here and pick these up. We'll get the stump grinder onto the front linkage. And then we can pick the plough up with the rear linkage. Best way to do this, I think. There we go. A little bit odd seeing that thing stuck right out in front of you, but it does carry okay on the front, and it means that we are one less trip. So let's just come back up there like that. And this on here. We'll do the stump grinding first. I realise that we're not actually going to use the stump grinder very much at the moment. Um, however, it's only 5,000, which isn't a huge... I mean, I mean yes, 5,000 euros is quite a chunk of money for just about anybody. However... Um, considering it's a, a new machine and, you know, compared to the other new machinery, it's not too bad, actually. It's, it's not a not a bad rate. Um, and we will be doing forestry at some point. So we'll sort of set it aside for when we go to do forestry. And we could well be clearing some more trees in order to be able to plough up a bit more land. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm thinking that we're going to be sort of claiming more land in this map than we will in over in Goldcrest. Um... Yeah, and I did have someone say that we've got some new maps coming out soon. I think Cobra Park Farm is um, getting close to being done. And there's a few other really popular big ones. There's other maps that are out. I'm not going to leave these two maps for a little while yet. We're going to sort of explore what options we have. And then when there are a few maps to choose from, I'll put that up to a vote as to what we go on to next. And sort of leave it up to all of you guys what you'd like me to... Um, play next so we'll, we'll get a full series out of this we're not going to abandon the series uh, part way through because I mean there is a very good chance that we won't come back to the the standard maps and that does seem a bit of a shame to me because the maps are very good they're well made um, yes you know they're, they're not brilliant they're not the sort of map that really grabs you and you know there's the whole thing with the square fields which is kind of unrealistic however it's not that bad a place i don't think um oh no i want to if i can find the right button here that one there we go i've just forgotten everything where i've mapped on my steering wheel right well, if we bring this one back a little bit let's start it at this angle and uh b start it up so then the, the controls for this one are all done on the mouse. You can you can wiggle it side to side. You can move it up and down. And then the other mouse button um, moves that one up and down and moves that one up and down as well. So you, you've got quite a, a range of movement on this one. And let's just move forward a bit. Connect with the stump. There. And now this is a difficult bit, is actually getting it to grind. Because sometimes... It doesn't. It, do it doesn't seem to like it. And I'm not quite sure why. Ah, there we go. We just had to go in a bit further. And that's what it, it also seems to do it in sections as well. It's a bit difficult to see here because we're in the middle of a big bush. Um, sort of wiggle it side to side. I'll move it down a bit. There. Might have to go forward a bit more maybe. There we go. It's... There we go, right. Does seem to be working. It's coming on all right. And let's come back around here and go over to the next one. Um, I think what we'll do is today we'll plough around this field, take a few a few lines out. I don't know how much time we're going to have then for going and ploughing up some of the other areas. So we may end up doing it over two episodes, doing the ploughing, because 
Um, the other, it could be quite interesting doing some of the extra bit. That just kind of took the whole stump all in one go. Um, and the one thing I wanted to find out was whether the roller would remove these bushes. i got a feeling that it's not going to. I think it would just be um, grass that it would do that to. So we'd need to take that into account because obviously the tractors do go into the bushes. Right, that's it. That's done. That is, that is the full use of the um, stump grinder. That's everything that we want it for at the moment. We're not going to be using it again for a little while. We're not going to take out these trees in here. I'm eyeing up, actually over there there's a um right let me lower that down uh, it comes up onto the stand if i put that guessing that the blade would come up oh it does go into the ground yeah i've been eyeing up this field of potatoes over here and um, we were talking about potatoes over in goldcrest valley um and there is a huge field of potatoes there that are ready to harvest Ooh, i don't want to drive on that grass because that grass is actually good grass I'd quite like to buy this field fairly soon because there's a huge amount of extra land that we can get around this one um, once we get the plough out. Massive amount. Right, let's just take a look over here. How much do we get? No space for mission vehicles. Please move your stuff out of the way. Okay, I'm sorry, sir. Let's just move back over here. Yeah. It's going to let me now. Really? That's fertiliser. It, 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 isn't it ready? Oh no, it's got another growth stage to go, hasn't it? So that one would give us 5,000. I am... Oh, yeah, you've got 12 minutes. I am... Oh, and... Uh, no, no, no. I, was, I wanted to see how much the field was. 304... So, 350,000 euros for that field. I would... I am curious to see how long it reckons it's going to take us to harvest those potatoes. We'll keep an eye on those. I don't think we will actually do them. I don't think we're going to have time to do those anytime soon. Right. I'll go and hitch up the plough, and then we can get started on some plough. There is my plough, all shiny and new. I suppose I should have washed the tractor before I started so that the tractor was shiny as well. Oh well. Yeah, this is the one bit that I'm not going to be happy about, is that great big bush in the corner. I mean, yes, I know that we're going to drive through it. Uh, oh well. We're, we'll figure that out in a minute. So let's bring that one up. And it doesn't have the, the field thing, but someone did tell me that you need to actually turn the plough. Um, oh, it would help if we were on the back. Right. Uh, detach, turn, toggle map size, yeah. But apparently if you turn the plow, it should then come up with the option to make the fields. No. Okay, right, well we want it round this way to start off with. And I am going to be using GPS to do this. So let me just get rid of that and open up the GPS. That's actually in roughly the right place. I am going to want to do that, and then we'll move it over a little bit, there, like that. We've got the offset, so we want the auto offset, and when we get to the end, um, I'm going to keep the lines, actually no, I'm not going to keep the lines on, I'm going to get rid of the lines. Uh, I do want to do that, no I don't, because we don't know where the edge of the field is. So I'll turn the GPS on, and I will hide the interface. And then allow create fields, I think. That's the one that we want. And I will let you have... Well, there's... The, we don't need the minimap at the moment because we're not actually going anywhere. We're just sort of staying around here. Let's see if we have got all of this right. Right, it is creating fields. Is it GPSing it? I think it is. Actually, I don't know. Well, it must be because that would have... it. The ploughs do tend to pull the vehicles round quite a bit. Um, you, you tend to sort of skew slightly to the... Well, at least you did in FS15. They may have fixed that in this one, in um, this version. I don't really know. Um, that remains to be seen. What I think I'll do is I will plough this because... We, oh, we're going to need to get a roller as well, aren't we? Right, we will come, we will come right out. And now we turn. And it should... The offset should deal with it itself, so I don't need to worry about that. I'll set the GPS going. There we go. It's, it is lining up. I'll lower it down out here. We can use the roller out here on the, on the road to straighten it all up. Excellent. Right, that's coming along quite nicely. We're only going to do one line up against the farm up there. Um, oh, I'll tell you what. 
Um, I was having a think earlier on. Um, it's really great seeing everybody's comments in the comment section about uh, what you're voting for. Um, but, you know, you, you kind of run out of things to say because you, 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 you're doing... You're, obviously, the vote is the same for three episodes. Um, so what I'm going to do is, when I remember, I may not remember every single episode, but I'm going to give you a topic for discussion in the comment section. And it would be really great if um, you could kind of play along a bit and let me know your thoughts on that particular topic. Um, you know, talk to other people and let us all know what you think about the different things. So today's topic of discussion in the comment section is going to be what do you think of the vanilla maps compared to other maps? Um, and not just, um, oh, the, the base maps are rubbish. Um, if you think they're rubbish, that's fine. You, I'm not saying that you shouldn't think they're rubbish. I want to know why you think they're rubbish. You know, give us some good reasons. And I appreciate that, like, you know, one thing that I don't really like is the square fields. Um, but obviously, they do the square fields so that everybody can play on them. And then people that want a bit more of a challenge, they go to the uh, custom-made maps with the irregular fields, that sort of thing. But um, obviously not everybody wants that style of gameplay, which is why they make the fields like they do. So you can use the hired help a lot more, that sort of thing. Um, so that's sort of one reason um, why you would have the square fields. I'll just come back over here. Um, but yeah, g g give me your thoughts on what you think of the vanilla maps and what you think could be done to improve the vanilla maps. But at the same time, ooh, I'm looking for that button there, right. At the same time, um, you need to, if, if you're suggesting improvements for the vanilla maps, keep in mind that not everybody can play uh, realistically. You've got very young players who rely heavily on the hired help in order to um, like turn at the headlands and stuff like that. Um, my youngest son has played Farming Simulator for several years now and if it wasn't for the hired help he'd hardly be able to do anything so he can't play on modded maps because they're a bit too difficult the hired help struggles a lot more with it and but on the vanilla maps he has a great time he really thoroughly enjoys it so that is why i think that the vanilla maps are really great um i don't like this whole shrub business but that's nothing to do with the vanilla maps it's just because of the shrubs um yeah right i'll tell you what i'm gonna do um, I have been rattling on for quite a while. I'm going to just finish this side and we will make a start on that bit over there. And... Oh, no, I need to turn the plough. Um, yeah, because we we're going to at least finish this field today before we... And then we can make a start. We can go up to the other side uh, tomorrow, I think. That's how we'll do it. So, yeah, let me just finish this side. And then I will be able to update you with my progress. I'm just doing a final pass down this side. Done out quite a way here now. Um, I'm going to round it off a little bit on the corner there when I use the roller. But I don't think I'm going to come over any further. Oh, well, we haven't really used this path down this side very much, have we? And to be honest, I don't think we would because we go out that way um, and it doesn't go anywhere. So we could actually plough up the entire track. I'm not, going to I'm not going to bother removing those trees there, but we could plough up this entire track. The only bit that I don't like is that we have to go right into that shrub, and I really, really hope that the roller can remove it. i got a feeling it won't, though. i got a feeling that that is just a little bit too much to hope for, but, um, yeah, I've decided we are going to plough up this track, so I will carry on and do that. I'll tell you what, um, given the time that we've got left, I'm going to... Just do a line across here, because uh, I'm only doing one line across this end. I'm not going to do any more than that, because um, it makes it a bit more difficult for the hired help to turn that way. And I've got a feeling that these shrubs won't be removed. Um, so I'm sort of taking that into account as well. Come up to there. I'll tell you what, actually. Uh, I need to bring up the GPS interface again. Um, bring the lines. If I rotate it round there... And I'll move it over just a fraction, that way. Got the auto. Right, everything else is fine. If I come back up here, that'll sort of show me exactly where I need to go. If I can put a marker line, that'll make it a bit easier for ploughing down through the road. The only issue is down the other end of the road um, is, is going up too far. 
don't know why I'm gesturing at the screen. I just did that again. I do that frequently. I'm always gesturing at the screen. It takes me a little while to realise that you can't actually see it. And no, we don't want to turn it that way. Or do we? Uh, no. Yes, yes, I do. I do want to turn it that way. I want to turn it into the field and we'll have the, the ditch out this way. Okay, that can come up through there. Go over the bit that we've already ploughed. That makes quite a mess when you actually do that in real life. But we're not going to worry about that today. It's coming along. I really do like the way that the GPS works. I'm, I'm always amazed with this mod. It is quite fantastic. And yes, I know I do use it a lot at the moment. Um, but then, you know, you, you do get a lot of tractors that have actually got this ability. So I feel that I'm not overusing it. At least I don't think I am. There's that bit. I will finish ploughing up that road down over there. And then we can have a look at our progress in just a minute. This is the final pass up this side. And I'll tell you what, that is a big extra chunk of field. That is a huge extra chunk of field. My only concern is that the hired help is going to get a little bit too enthusiastic. And they are going to uh, help themselves right into the pond, which isn't necessarily the best thing that could happen. Um, it is. I'm, I'm going to have to watch that. I think what we'll have to do, I mean, I've come out f much too far on that side, but that was quite deliberate because uh, I'll use the roller to straighten it out. And at the same time, um, I'll also... Yeah, I'll use the roller to straighten it out and um, I'm going to be ploughing up that track as well. So what we're going to have to do is, when we work the field, we'll have to do a few passes on our own along the end of the field there in order to sort of make an, a big enough line in so that the hired help doesn't take it upon itself to drive into the pond. So we will have to watch out for that. Now I'm going to come right back up here and make sure I've definitely gone far enough. So we'll come up to here. We have got the roller, so well, we will be getting the roller. So we will be able to use that one to straighten anything up. Um, I've engaged the GPS again. I'll do a couple of lines down this side. We won't. It's not going to be anything like over there because that track has definitely got to stay intact. We don't want to be ploughing that one up. Um, and what is that little one there? Let me just get the map. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it gets ploughed up in front of that structure because there is another little track behind that structure that we can use if we want to. So that one's not much of a concern either. And this is all looking quite good. I think the offset is actually on the wrong side now. Which isn't very helpful. So let me just lift that one up. And rotate it. Now, is the offset changing or is it... I don't, I don't really know what the offset is doing at the moment. Got a feeling it's offset itself to the wrong side. Oh well. Let me... Put that one in and lower down. So my question for this week... Is that doing it? Actually, no, I think the offset is on the correct side. Because the, the wheel is just in what has been ploughed, so the tractor's leaning over into the ploughed ground, which is actually what you want. Yeah, so anyway, my question for this week, let me just bring this one up, is... We have got the Lely Juno, which is a robot which should clean the feeding areas. So my question for this week is, do you want me to just not buy one and stick with what we've got, which is the Kramer, so save our money? Do you want me to buy one and then ferry it between the cattle and the pigs? Or do you want me to buy two and put one in front of the cattle and one in front of the pigs so we've got permanent robot cleaners there to clean the feeding areas and save us all a bit of work? It's your vote. It's your game. Mouse over the little eye up here and cast your vote and head into the comment section and tell us why you voted for it. Um, and don't forget my topic of discussion for today in the comment section is pros and cons of the um, vanilla map. So this Sosnyovka one and the Goldcrest ones. And I know a lot of people aren't keen on the maps. I want to hear why you're not keen on it or alternatively why you like them. You know, what what positive things do you have to say about the maps? Um, I, can't, I like to hear all of your opinions. Um, I'm running my series on this map and the Goldcrest map, and I will be doing so until we've had a good look at both of them. Um, but I would also like to sort of hear, um, you know, if you want me to, you know, 
leave it sooner? Um, is it something that you'd like me to hurry up and get over and done with and get on to other types of gameplay? Or are you quite happy with the progress that we're making on these maps? Um, I'm just going to do... I think I'll do another pass, actually, and then we can use the roller to uh, flatten it down again. And we will sort of run... I think we'll, we'll end up squashing down half of what we play on the next pass. I will finish doing this, and then I will... I think I'll actually set the hired help to plow the entire field anyway so everything is freshly plowed on this piece and then in our next episode we will get the roller and we will square this field up and then we will take the plow and head up to uh, the other area up top and start claiming some land for ourselves up there it's it's going to be a bit of a task no 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 don't 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 press the wrong button it's going to be a bit of a task to do, so what I might end up doing is do it all in tomorrow's episode, all of the, the bits up there that we're going to do, and uh, give you another little mini time lapse. Um, it could be uh, an extra one. I know. I, I See, I, I really don't know if I'm going to be able to do lots of them, but I know a lot of you are quite enjoying me putting in little mini time lapses, so I might actually do that up there. We could um, run the plough. I might even try and do it without the GPS. Yes, that, that could be interesting. Try and do it without the GPS and time-lapse it as well. If I, if I do that, though, pretty much most of your view is sort of going to be like that. That is what you're going to see because it's quite difficult to keep it all lined up when you're not using the GPS system. Um, that, that does make a huge difference. But anyway, I have rattled on along long enough today. If you've enjoyed this episode, please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome just going to come in here and turn this one round i will finish doing this now and it will be ready in our next episode just bring that over there right uh nope that's everything there we go lower you down and we're away um yeah until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar, goodbye, and see you later.